All right, loading in last on Province, that wonderful Mediterranean map that nobody likes. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jaeger262, and today I'm just gonna be playing games. It could be a lot like the Jaeger plays video. It might just be another video. I don't know if anybody liked that or not. Only this time, it's going to be all the games that I delete. I'm just going to keep them in. It'll be pretty much a um, compilation of me just failing. So we'll see how that goes. I really hope I didn't just get spotted. Again, just like yesterday, I have no idea what a TD is supposed to do. I used to know. And then I did, you know, I just stopped playing TD, I guess. Well, I don't guess. I did. I got all the way to the Stur Emil. It didn't agree with me, the German tier 8. Right? Tier 8? Tier 7. Wow, missed that shot. I don't know how. And yeah, heavy lag, so. Oh my god. Hit his gun. Okay, finally went through. And wow, see, okay, that's it. Game over. So yeah, see, the Zoo 85 is really not great when it comes to penetrating targets. It has, like, zero penetration. But next game. All right. In that, in this Rocco, that other TD I love to hate in Fisherman's Bay. I don't know why I can't remember the name of these maps. And I don't know why my internet's having such problems. Although it's storming a lot. I'm in Florida in the States. Uh, so... A lot of storms this time of year, it's hurricane season, so yeah, you can see just massive, massive lag, I mean, not great, but we'll play through it, hopefully we'll play through it, I don't know, <laughs> the model for my Sirocco isn't loading at all, oh there it goes, there we go, now we can look beautiful, while we move up way further than we should be. And this thing destroyed that for some reason. I to this day will play as a medium tank. Just reminds me too much of a medium tank. Okay, that was a miss. He's gone. I don't auto aim. Tip of the day, don't auto aim. That's something I do a lot just to see if I can hit a target and then I just don't. Oh no, now we're spotted. Oh, What's this guy gonna do? There's nothing he really can do, is there? Giving us some spotting damage. I don't want to get spotted, please. Something keeps trying to hit me. I'm not about that. Maybe one or two. Um. What? He hit me twice that fast? Hit him and I'm dead. Wow. Yeah, that's why you don't move up with the tank destroyer. Again, hate tank destroyers. They're the worst class. Worst class. I'm going to stop playing them for the rest of the Jaeger plays because this is getting annoying. I know I said I would show you all the fail games, but there's going to be too many because I hate, I absolutely hate tank destroyers. Hate them, hate them. Wow, this lag is going to get to me. It takes me forever to get into a game. We're already 30 seconds into this one. But on Wide Park, top tier in a great tank, the British, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it sound so dumb. Uh, the British Firefly VC, I do actually really love this tank. Um... I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup. If I can just what? All right, tracked him. And he's dead. Amazing. That's 265 assist damage for me. I don't know what that. I don't play light tanks, so I don't know if that's like normal. Like you just like suicide charge. I wouldn't suicide if I was anybody else. Wow! 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 What a misplay. I really thought that guy was going to hit the OI, and then already hit me, wow. That, that was just a bad trade, look at that, I got hit for over 500 damage all at once, I mean, the tank only has 750 HP, 
that's really nothing. So, I no longer have a good feeling about this game. Now I'm terrified. Uh, I'm probably gonna, this OI is not doing anything to help us. I'm getting out of dodge. Getting out of dodge. Which is, oh no. Okay, there we go. Which is a reference probably none of you will get. I watch way too many old cowboy TV shows and movies. But Dodge City was, for anybody who cares, again, this is just, in these videos, I'm just be talking about random stuff, not really the gameplay. For anybody that does care to know, wow, this guy's being a huge jerk. Some of us would like to shoot the KV-2, or KV-1, sorry. Nice, got a kill for that. Um... Oh yeah, Dodge City. For anybody that doesn't know, there was like this really old cowboy TV show in the 50s, or early 60s, late 50s, called Gunsmoke, Dodge City, Kansas, and like the sheriff there, whatever, would like rough somebody up, go, man, you better get out of Dodge. You know, stay out of Dodge. That's like a thing like that. Oh, you're be in Dodge. That was, really, that was a lengthy explanation for nothing. This is Zoo 100 wise probably just gonna stay in that corner and slaughter our team since we're going after him one at a time here. Wow, that was a great hit on him. He's dead and the game's over. Look at that, a win. A very bad win for me. And I spent way too much time explaining the cowboy stuff, but nice victory. So I'm gonna stay with probably medium tanks for the rest of this, but we'll see. We'll see. Starting late again with bad ping. But this time on Glacier in the King Tiger. So, feeling phenomenal about this game as well as with the Firefly game. But it looks like <laughs> the IS on our team is the only tank that's going to go up against an IS-3 auto. And, hold on, let me see this here. Yep, IS-3A, Panther 2. So, he's going to come up against an 09, a King Tiger capture, an IS-3A. He's already gotten spotted and he's getting destroyed by artillery. So... You know what? I changed my stance on this game almost instantaneously, not to be negative, but... Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna be a painful game for me to play. Probably hilarious for you to watch. Uh, if you like watching people get injured. Yeah, already already lagging and already getting hit. Not Nothing too terrible, but nothing great since... You know, considering we're already gonna be perma-spotted by these two vehicles up here. And we're going to face the entirety of the enemy team alone. Didn't yep. Even didn't even scratch him. This IS is going to die. I feel so bad. Ouch. We can only signal nearby vehicles. The radio man is down. Well, that's nothing, dude. The radio operator is like the only person to ever die in a tank. No matter what hits your tank, but this... This IS-3 auto happens to be shooting gold for some reason. Cause he's, he's being mean. Alright. No problem going through the front of this tank, which is sucky, because I'm playing- sorry. But it, it's not fun, because I'm playing this tank. Wow, he over-angled his sides there. <laughs> he gave us an easy shot, so this is- Alright, this, this King Tiger captured is just- He's getting out of here now. Please. Please let me. Oh, and that's a ricochet. How is that a ricochet? Got him. I could not believe. Yeah, I wasn't angled at all, so that just all went straight to the front of my vehicle. Look at that. Man, ah, two in the low. Oh, wow! No! Oh! Go! Oh. And we're dead. Amazing. That's amazing. That's great. Alright, next game. I cannot believe that late tank outflanked us like that. Well, actually, I can. It's a late tank's job. Noobs light. <laughs> yeah, the IS is right. We just got eviscerated by a light tank. We're the heavy tanks. Oh, that was a bad game. Alright. Uh, oh, man. Alright, on Lakeville in the 285i. So, I lied, I'm back in this tank. Uh, weather has still not cleared up here in the lightning capital of the world. So, lag is still a problem. But I'm going to try and... 
I don't know, should I be over there with those guys? I know I shouldn't be going in the city, but that's where I'm going, because that's where I'm used to being. T14 in my way. He's making shots, though, so props to that guy. Oh, wait, wait. Is he behind a rock? Yeah, he is. Driving on through. Ah, oh, man. If anybody who watches this, and despite it being probably hilarious to you, wants to give me some. I am so sorry, I just ran into you. Please don't shoot me. God. <clears throat> wants to give me some pointers on how to play a, t a tank destroyer better. I'm all ears, because, uh. Boy, this is a bad time for me. And they know like one of the obvious things is like, oh, maybe you should play in the city for a tank destroyer, bro. Yeah, well, that's right, but what do I know? Well, that was a huge miss, and I'm gonna get hit. Nope, missed. Alright, that's a hit. I'm backing off. Yep, oh, I'm dead. Wow, oh, wow. That did not last long at all. One shot. What were my heavy tanks doing? Like, what? What are you doing? They're just sitting there doing nothing but taking damage. Bad team is a bad team. Alright, starting on time in a truly great vehicle. The American T-34 Heavy Tank. On Abbey in a tier 10 match, this is exactly where this tank doesn't want to be. But the reason I love this vehicle so- oops. I love this vehicle so much is it plays good anywhere and everywhere. And it's time for Jaeger to get a win. Now, if I lose this game or I make some like horrible stupid mistakes, it's all on me because I truly, out of the black market, out of all the black market vehicles, this is the only one that I think was actually worth it to me. Obviously out of all the ones I didn't buy, it's not. There was a lot of great tier 10s, well two of them, and a lot of great premium tanks offered. But out of the ones I did buy, this one was the most worth it. Um, it's far better than the Canavan Action X, it's, I think, in my personal opinion, it's far better than the IS-6. Uh, it's just a great all-round vehicle, so if you mess up in this vehicle, you make a, you know, if you get killed really easily, you're shredded, you're not doing damage, that's all you. That's all you and misplays. And I've had it happen to me before, but it wasn't because of the T-34, it's just, just me. So we'll see, we'll see if I, um, I can tell you right now, I cannot pen the mouse frontally. That's just impossible for this vehicle. Or the Yogg Panza E100 can't do that. What else is on this enemy team? The M103? Yes, actually. The M103, yeah. E54 E1? Also, yes. Wait, maybe. That's a maybe. It's a heavy maybe. But yeah, those, those high tier German vehicles are not going through, and I can tell you right now, the mouse is right on the minimap. Right here, right now, struggling under cover of that Yogg E100. I don't want to deal with either of those tanks. Looks like the TPT4 E1 is going to die anyway, so not a problem I have to deal with. And we got some medium tanks pushing. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, don't do that! Don't. Oh man! Oh jeez! Oh gosh! Oh, Canaver Action X, my favorite vehicle to play against. Ow! Ooh, I paid heavily for that. Yeah, see, that's a huge misplay on my part. Now I'm just out all my own lonesome. Gonna get nailed again by... Ooh, huh, bounced. Ooh, ow. Everybody's shooting gold in this matchup for some reason. And this is why I, I, I stray away from high tiers. People spawn... <laughs> they spam gold like crazy. Uh... Although it's not really their fault. I mean, Wargaming has kind of made it so that way you have to spam gold to, you know, stay competitive at all anymore. Okay, that was a miss. Okay, this guy's asking me for help. You got it, boss. I, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do, but uh, Jaeger's going to help you out. Yeah, wow, look at all these gains we're making. Okay, 
looks like we're just in like a full assault on this AMX M4. Who's firing gold and pretty dangerous. Looks like we're gonna back him into a corner. Oh yeah, I was totally wrong about that mouse by the way. I know you're watching and I'm not. Totally wrong about the mouse. Alright, hit him. 404 damage. This the only thing I don't like about this tank is a really long reload time. But man, for the R oh man, oh no. <laughs> anyway. Oh yep, yeah, that's a kill. For the damage it does. Amazing. I'm probably just gonna play in the back now, because I've only done 800 damage, it's only two shots. Hit both shots. And both shots, so feeling pretty good about this vehicle, as always. Although I lost a lot of hit points in that misplay. Fired gold straight to the front of this tank. It is possible to do that. It's very rare for this vehicle, but uh, very rare does not mean it doesn't happen. I want to stress that one. Okay, let's see if I can penetrate any part of either of these vehicles. Looks like I could get some penetration on... Wow, that went way high and way wrong. That was a bad shot. Yeah, so I should have prefaced this with that. This vehicle's not a sniper. Oh, wait, there he is. Where, where'd it go? Wow, missed that shot. Gulliver's Travels, that doesn't make any sense. That was a fully aimed shot, so yeah. There is a lot of weakness to this vehicle, one of it being its gun is one of the least accurate in the entire game. And that's it for us, so pretty terrible game all the way around, but as always, a victory. Because when you're playing the T-34, you can play really terribly like I just did, and it still looks good, feels good, and makes you a lot of money. So, I don't know how long it's going to take them to kill that yacht. Oh, not at all. Alright, so there you go. There you have it. A win for me and a great vehicle. So, hopefully I'll play better next game. We'll see. Alright, I'm Anaheim Line again in one of my favorite premium vehicles, the Firefly BC. And we are bottomed here by a huge margin. Not really. Not oh, come on, dude. What are you... What was that? Anyway, that's a sure meal I was talking about. For anybody who's never seen it, I had that thing. It was pretty great. It cost so much money to play, and it was so expensive to use because its shells cost so much, and it was pretty much useless, to be honest, until you get, like, the top gun. You got time to grind for a top gun when you're me. So, anyway, going to take this to the... A1, A2 area where medium tanks like to frolic on this map. And the Sherman BC Firefly is a frolicking tank, mind you. Quick firing, but from a distance, good pocket sniper. Um, not a brawler, so don't get involved. That would be my one piece of advice. Don't get involved with anything. If your team needs help, don't do it. Don't help your team in this tank, because your team's just going to let you die. They're going to leave you for dead. So, it's not really professional advice. You should probably always support your team, but if it was me, as you'll see, I will not support my team in this vehicle if it comes down to it. I'll just leave. Well, that's me. I'm a team player. Sort of. Not really. Alright, the KV-2 just got lit up. Wow. I don't even know what's hitting him. That is bad news. Wow, look at that huge hole. Ooh, he just ate it. Oh, no. Didn't penetrate the armor. That's one of those Italians. Be oh, no! And we missed that shot. Yeah, so Italian mediums for anybody who doesn't deal with them for some reason, because, like, you just have the greatest luck on the planet. Wow, another one did not pen. This is this is a wild ride for me. Oop, scorpion, don't want to get hit by the scorpion. Oh, God. This is one of the most stressful 
Okay. Oh, what? Oh, I had locked onto that target. That's why you don't auto aim, kids. Oh, and the Progetto's still alive. And I'm all alone. <laughs> I'm in danger. And now I'm gonna get hit by Artie. There's no safe way out of this one, to be completely honest, because look, the scorpion's gonna come up right behind me and just obliterate me right now. Great, hit that VK. Just gonna pump the M6. For damage. Gonna pop out? Nope. Not feeling brave enough today. I have no idea what happened to Progetto. I don't know where he is or what his end game is, but I am horrified in this situation. You know what the funny part is? Is that if that VK rushed me right now with the support of those two tank destroyers, I would have literally no way of defending myself, and he, he would you know, be an easy win. They could just flank through. But that's the power of fear. Fear that the Firefly puts in its opponents. getting really dicey out here right now. Real dicey. I am not gonna move for all the power of God, because if I move behind this rock, I get hit by the scorpion. If I move in front of it, Kanona Ponser. So my safest bet is to, again, not support my team and just camp. So this looks like the VK backed off and the Nota Panzer's on the hill, so all I have to worry about is the Scorpion. It's probably pulled back as well, so time to make some aggressive moves. There's the Scorpion and there I go. Alright. So he didn't actually end up moving. I got an IS to worry about, and for some reason, I'm on a slope. Ricochet. Okay, I keep missing him and... <laughs> what? <laughs> that was amazing! Okay, I'm gonna go rush the Scorpion. There's a hit. There's another hit. I think we're gonna win this. Oh, and he's gone. Alright, so that's a win. We're never gonna get to the T3485M in time. So, all around, a great game. Only 900 damage done, which is not a lot, but I spent way too much time camping. So, sorry, that was not as enjoyable to watch. But, as usual, it's a win. Love this tank. Alright, we'll see how the next one goes. Alright, starting on time, low tiers, tier 3, light tank, but one of my most interesting and favorite vehicles of all time, the Teeny Weeny MTLS IG-14. This American experimental light tank fired two 37mm cannons simultaneously, and it was made for use on the Philippine Islands. Okay, that's a lie. It was, <laughs> it was made for use by the American military in general, 
but uh, it was at the time between World Wars where we were trying to bring light infantry support vehicles to all corners of the globe, including the base in the Philippines, and um, it was pretty much shelled because the war came before it was actually fully developed. It was not considered a combat-efficient vehicle, which is exactly why I love it, because I'm bad at combat. And so is this tank, technically. Um, but yeah, in World of Tanks, it basically just fires two 37 mm Wait, hold on, let me, before I, let me check this. Yep, 37 millimeter shots, one right after the other, kind of like an auto cannon or a clip. You don't control the rate of fire, which is unfortunate, so it will just automatically fire one, two, and that's it. You know, it's whatever. It's a fun little light tank. Also, I thought I would play low tier, because this is probably going to be the last game of this video. Hopefully you guys are having as much fun watching these videos as I have making them. Yep, see? Two penetration... Two penetrations. Two penetrating shots for 89 damage. It's like sweet little tank. I think it's adorable. I think it's good at its job. And it's got decent pen on these standard rounds for a light tank at tier 3. I mean, we just ripped through the front of that sentinel. No problem. Oof. Already being already over here. <laughs> Killing players, I'm gonna back off. I don't want to be clustered with these guys. That's another thing you gotta do. Even early on, I mean, you don't really pay attention to that kind of thing early on, but uh, do not cluster in World of Tanks. It makes it easier for Artie. Dang. You see that miss? Got the kill, though. It makes it easier for Artie to damage, and they usually will shoot at clustered vehicles just because it gives them a wider damage spread. Ooh, and I got spotted by the Electo. Oh no. Good gravy. Yep, okay. Alright, that's a miss. Uh, that's a no pet, not a miss. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, great Gatsby. This is intense. Oh, and I died. Well, it's still a pretty fun tank. I don't care what anybody says. Only 183 damage. Um, you'll notice here, before I quit the game, you know, before I stop this one, um, I don't actually play low tiers like a seal clubber, as if I know what I'm doing. I just, I just go for it. Um, so yeah, sorry about that really quick game, but uh, always a lot of fun to play a tank that shoots more than, you know, has two barrels. Alright, bottom tier again at tier 8 in one of my favorite premium medium tanks, the M46 Korean, or KR. Now this is based off of actual Korean tanks, and I do not remember the unit. I am so sorry for any historians out there who I just failed by not remembering the unit, uh, who painted their vehicles with tiger faces. Ah, look at that thing. Great. It's also a very capable medium, it's very strong for tier 8, it's good at mid-range, you can even pull off some long-range combat, it has decent penetration, everything's really average for tier 8, or a little bit above average for tier 8, but pretty average for what you're going to see, like you're going to be in tier 10 games, it's evenly matched no matter what it's in, it's very versatile, but, but, that is not why I bought it, I got it because of this. Also because it's, you know, actually historically accurate to a Korean War vehicle, but man, just look at this. Isn't that so goofy looking? Look at the little tiger mouth and his tiger eyes and his stripes. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I got a little weird, I'm sorry, but I do love this vehicle. Now, it looks like no one's really going to reinforce the 1 and 2 lines, which is kind of how it goes when there's only one heavy tank. Everybody's going to kind of play the field. The Patton, if anything, at low tiers, when it sees tier 9s or tier 10s, is not a good brawler. It can deal damage relatively quickly, but the 8.5 second reload on its 90mm gun and the lack of total frontal armor here at the bottom means... Oh, ah, never mind, I won't join a platoon right now. Um, means that it can't brawl. I forgot, I lost my train of thought. It means it cannot brawl, so that's why I'm sitting in the back here doing more camping than I did in the Firefly game. It's just not going to survive at tier 10 brawling it out. 
However, our team is making massive strides over there, which might draw attention of the team, of the enemy team's heavy tank, which I'm guessing is in this area, generally speaking. Uh, okay, this guy's asking for help, so I'll move up with him. It's pretty precarious to move up in a, um, Patton. Do not want to play this tank aggressively, if I can give you any advice. Earl, you can, but I've seen the most success with it playing a very reserved, very support vehicle back of the line game with this tank. I've not had too much. Ooh, okay. Alright, that's it. <laughs> I'm backing out. That's Stritzvong S1. Again, lower plate has no armor. Just punch right through there. And now I'm no longer having a good time. Although I did say it's going to be pretty hard to play aggressively. I have no idea where their heavy tank is, to be quite honest with you. I'd be lucky if I get any damage this game, because while my team's making crazy good kills, um, that those tank destroyers on this rig... Oh, here he is. Oh, no. Let's see if I can hit him. Nope. Well, I did hit him, but not for damage. Alright. Only did 250 damage to him. So, yeah, this is a low alpha gun. Ugh, tracked him. Goodness me. It's usually more accurate than this, but I am aiming right at the tracks. Oh, come now. Wait, it's firing back? So is it a bot? Uh, who knows, I'm gonna kill it. That took way longer to do than normal. Um, I really wish this E50 or the EBR would go in spot. Yes, thank you. Out here for me. And find that Stritzvong, that sneaky little tank destroyer. And he's... he's gonna do it. That is some bloody good camo. And it's a miss, man, what a whiff. Oh! Oh man, I... ow, 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 wow. This has been one of the worst games I've ever played. One of the worst gains ever. This tank can't hit anything, and I forgot that fact. All right, one more, one more. All right, back on province with one of my rarer and favorite medium tanks, the Panzer IV Hydrostat. And for anybody who doesn't know anything about this vehicle, the thing that makes it so different than the Panzer IV is this huge butt on the back of it, which is an electric engine, because as you know, the Germans during the Second World War were running out of fuel and needed new ways to power their war machines and they had successes with electric engines, wood engines, furnace engines and a number of other hilariously interesting engine types and they all worked by the way, they were all fine but tanks were a little bit different, obviously tanks are heavier, bigger vehicles than light vehicles it was mostly Kubrowagens or you know the half tracks that got those engines so the hydrostat represents one of these experiments right there where the generator is and that's why it's so huge and why it has a tiny tiny gear wheel in the back instead of a normal drive sprocket and if you're wondering wow is that really it does that impact its role in world of tanks at all <laughs> no it does not it is exactly the same thing as a panzer 4 h with the stock 75 millimeter gun and it has a new hull i know what you're thinking but <laughs> then what's the point well there is no point it just looks cool and actually there is a point before it this thing is very slow on um, paved terrain, so any cities like this here, or any, um, yeah, any cities basically, any urban paving, roads, cobblestones, anything like that, it's very slow compared to the normal Panzer IV, and it's like, oh wow, that's cool, so it's just, the only gimmick it has is that it's hindered? That's correct, and I have no idea what is spotting me right now through a building. But the plus side of that, there is a plus side, is that off-road ground resistance to it is great. It's very fast. It reaches its top speed of, I think, 45 kilometers an hour relatively quickly off-road. Um, 
so since World of Tanks is about 50-50 spread, it means half the time you're going to be slow and half the time you're going to be fast, which is the same as every other tank, only this time it's reversed, and so when every other tank is slow, you'll be fast. And, you know, that's not really like a huge combat advantage, to be completely honest, considering that the gun, while okay at mid to close ranges, is just okay. Mm. It's not really great. This 75 is a really dinky gun. Really tiny. Um, so, yeah, there's that. That's it. That's, there's the intro to the Hydrostat. I'm really underselling it, though. It's a good tank. You have to like the Panzer IV to like uh, this vehicle. Um, come on. Do it, AMX. Do it. I don't like light tanks that do this. Like, <laughs> what do you. That's the point. Maybe? Mm, nope. Yes. And it was a complete miss. Amazing. And it got me spotted. Ooh. Ow. Oh my gosh. No, it didn't. Or, I mean, yes, it did, but not from where I thought it did. Man, a T-67 firing gold? That's about as useful as nothing. Okay, track that guy for no reason. The Osmos of Vaytun? No, it didn't. The Osmos of Aetun means that must have hurt in German. And, uh, I don't think tracking a light tank hurts too much. God. And, yeah, for anybody asking me what the heck I'm saying, uh, I feel like I know- This crew is my best <laughs> my best tank crew in the game, and so I know all their names. I'm one of those nerds. So I learned their names, and the commander's name is Gerhard Mather. Or Marder, I can't remember which 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 M name he has. Um, great commander, but uh, as you just saw, not really not really doing much for the vehicle. Let's see if I can just jump onto this AMX. Yes, I did it. No. There was no reason for that, but I thought I wasn't getting enough damage um, as it is, so I just yolo it off that cliff. Oh, man. And they said that the enemy OI got stuck in the pit over there, so we're just going to cap out, I guess. Yeah, our entire team is on the cap circle right now. It's amazing. Alright, so good game in the Hydrostat. Not great for me, but had a good time doing it. Why does he want to reset the cap? So our artillery is trying to reset the cap through friendly fire, which is ridiculous. But it doesn't work. We capped. All right. Uh, bad game for me, but fun tank to play. And if you don't jump off of cliffs, I suppose. All right. I think that's going to be my last game for this video. I know it's already super long. So anybody who's watching this part and can hear this, thank you so much for watching this. I really don't know if anybody likes these videos. Um, I didn't really delete any of the games from tonight, I don't think. You might not see a full 11, but if I did everything right, you'll see a full 11 games right now. And statistics, we had 163,471 credits. Total credits earned 120,000. I realized today that that's because of all the service costs of resupplying ammunition and repairing vehicles. So, an okay game, or an okay day, I suppose. Not doing too great. Firefly being my top vehicle, as usual, because the Firefly is so good. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out to make more of these videos. If you want to get notified on any of the reviews 
that I'll make in the future. I don't know what tanks I'm going to be reviewing. I know I'm supposed to do the T-34B and the Hydrosat and all that. And I will get to that eventually. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and get notifications on whenever I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And just like my other video, I just wanted to reiterate that XP Gains, that website that sells game services, and that's not just for PC games, it's for any console, any games you play. You can get coaching, you can get people to analyze games, which is what I will be doing for them. I will be able to analyze people's will the tanks gameplay and help them make better decisions decisions that I clearly in the moment cannot make as you just saw um, it works for any game and if you use the code that's my name you get 10% off of all your service and for every time that anybody does that it does actually give me some profit back to help me continue to one make these videos and keep this running and two to get more premium vehicles to review for you guys or play so that way you don't have to buy them and <laughs> fail in them with like this vehicle right here the Zoo85i which I cannot play to save my life but wanted to bring that review out that really helps I will leave a link to their website in the description below along with my code and as always thank you so much just for watching and just for tuning into the channel I know I got a couple of new subscribers this week thank you to those guys for subscribing and welcome to the channel Hopefully I will continue to make more videos that are interesting to you. Let me know if you thought this video was interesting or not. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.